Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang. Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year's, everybody. Hope that you are having a great weekend so far. Make sure that if you're new to the channel that you hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Turn your notifications off and then turn your notifications on so you can be notified every time a new video is released. Today we're going to be going over a super fast and easy coin making method. But first, we have the first giveaway winner. It's going to be Jack Sign. So make sure that you are following me on Twitter and let me know what console you are on, PlayStation or Xbox. After that person lets me know, then we will pick the second winner with the console that is remaining. Also, I'm going to give a shout out to I win easy, Eric K and KK O N V Y S. I don't know how to pronounce that, but shout out to all y'all. If you want to shout out in the video, make sure that you are subscribed with your notifications on and comment down below anything. Let's get into today's breakdown. This is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks. You're looking for a Patreon membership or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is take advantage of the newer legends. You can do the older legends also. Now that the prices are going back up to normal rate. But the newer legends is what you want to be taking advantage of because people are going to be posting cards for way cheaper than they should. So if we're looking at this new Junior Sayo and this Frank White check, you can make a lot of coins. I'm talking between 60 and 80,000 profit on every single set that you complete. Now, this coin method is going to take a few coins to start it up because you're going to need at least the amount to complete the set and then once you resell the card you're going to be making an extra after taxes 60 to 75k now once the video goes out more people are going to be taking advantage of this but let's get into the breakdown and the calculations of exactly how much you can spend and how much you can profit all right so looking at this junior sayal on the website Okay, so if you go to all his player cards right here, so you're going to be trying to make this 95 overall that is close to 700K. Sometimes it's sold for a little over 700K. So as you can see right here, 769,000 coins seven minutes ago, 736 to 740,000 coins 20 minutes ago. Okay, so you're going to be making this card for about 580 to 595,000 coins. That's going to give you over 80,000 to 100,000 profit, depending on how good of cards you can grab for the lowest. So if you look at the 93 overall, it is averaging about 277,000. That is always going to be the highest piece. You're going to need the 93 overall, the 91 overall, the 90 the 89 and the 88 is going to always take five pieces into the set. So one, two, three, four, five. You're not going to buy the first piece that's up. It's going to take you five to ten minutes sometimes to find the best deal. And overall, that's going to help you make the set for cheaper. And you're going to be able to sell it for higher because they are the newest card. Okay, he's going for 289, 280, 270, 235. So you want to be spending between 240 and 250 thousand coins for that so if we pull up the calculator and we put in 235 thousand coins 235 thousand coins that'd be about what you want to spend for that okay so if we go back to his next one 235 thousand that you would want to spend for that 93 overall so we can go back to all versions now if we come down here that's the 93 now the 91 you want to spend around what has he sold for recently so 141 just now but you can get them for as low as about 120 115 K so we're gonna put in 120 K that's what you want to be looking around so 120 K okay so now you're gonna go back to the next piece so you're gonna do 200 and some K 115 K now you have this 90 overall what can you get them for to be able to make profit so 80s 
90s, some 70s. So we're gonna say about 85K. So we're gonna say about 85,000 to get that next piece right there, okay? So then we're gonna go down to the last two. We're gonna see what we can possibly get them for. So we got that one for 85,000. Now we're gonna do this 89, which is gonna always be high, just like the top card. So this one, we should be able to get around 135 ish so 129 139 so about 129 to 139 k so we put in 139 k would be about what you would find it at 139 k and now we're getting down to the easier card so we got that 89 out the way now we have this one that you're going to get for about 24 to 25 thousand coins so 28 24 25 20 so i would say between 20 and 24 thousand try to find that card so about 24 thousand we're going to look for that card 603 thousand and that's if you get them at high prices so six hundred and three thousand to make that card so then you're going to turn around and you're going to sell the card the 95 overall card so if we making them for about six hundred and three thousand you can't make them less you can get them around 585 depending on when you buy the pieces so about 585 to 603 we're going to say so you're going to turn around and sell the card 12 minutes ago for 769 or 740 ish. That's what we're gonna say. So 603. So we're gonna do 740,000, okay? Minus 603,000. And that's gonna leave you with 137,000 left, okay? So if you sell them for 740,000 or 725,000, you're gonna take that times 10%. 74,000 is coming off of this. So 74 thousand at the highest is coming off so that's going to leave you with a sixty three thousand profit if you was to do it super fast if you buy all the pieces in about three to five minutes that's going to leave you with a sixty three thousand profit now if you sit on the filter and you be patient do two or three minutes on this filter grab the cheapest price two or three minutes on this filter grab the cheapest price you're going to be making closer to the seventy eighty thousand profit every single time so what I want y'all to do is take advantage of this opportunity right now. You can do it with the new Junior Sayal. You can do it with Frank Whitecheck. You can do it with the Mel Renfro that's been in the game, the Walter Payton. You just want to be patient on the filters and find the best deal. So we're going to go on the filters real quick. And also, we do have the glitchy 93 overall to limited method. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So if we look at my binder from yesterday, this is what I've been doing to get over 5 million coins. Look at all my newest. Look at all these limited pools recently. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 new limiteds. Plus all these ones that I had already. Okay? And what I do is I go in and I will re-roll. So right now we have 900 training. You would want to have at least 250,000 snowflakes to do this method because then you can use the 85 plus which is going to give you a better chance at 93s and limited. But if you have training, say you have 40,000 training, you will go into this pack and you will back out the animation every single time. Now my snow, I do it in 100,000 increments. What do I mean by that? If I have 300,000 snow, I will roll 100,000 of it in this pack right here. Go to the binder, quick sell everything that is not a 93 or a limited. Then I will come back in here with that recuperated snow and then I will do the method again. All I'm doing is coming right here to the pack and then I am backing out. Right here while the animation is going, I don't want to see what the card is. I am backing out. Now with the snow, I will do that over and over and over, 100,000 snow then go to the binder and find out what we have now on the first try it's probably not going to work but if you can do it seven to eight times at a time three or four of them cards will be super glitchy all right so when you are filtering between your legends you can see i'm going to go to middle linebacker i'm going to put the first couple letters of his name and 94 to 95 so you can see 700,000 711,000 so you want to take advantage of this right now so these are the two lowest once they get bought up he's going to be back 
to 744, 745,000 coins. So these will be the prices that you will want to put it at. You will put yours at about 742, 743 to make sure that when these two are gone, some people are going to try to buy them and then resell them. Yours will be the next one up. Now, don't try to undercut these cards and take your profit away. If you put it at 699, you're only going to be making about 20 thousand profit okay so how you want to filter this so if you went right here and you're looking for his lower cards say his 93s you can see it's one for 876 thousand that's way overpriced one for 299 thousand so you would go back and forth between that and his 91s and his 89s so you would catch this 75 thousand for that 90 overall that is the cheapest price ever because i showed you on the screen all right, so that was 75,000 coins. Now, if you come back and look at the screen, you can see in the top right corner that it is around 90,000. So that's 15,000 coins cheaper. So you are already going from making the card to 608,000 down to about 586, 587,000. So you're going to go back and forth through the filters. You're going to get this one. You're going to make sure you don't pay $299. do not pay no higher than about $240 for the 93s. Once you get that biggest piece, then you're just going to come back and forth through your filters. See, you can see this 90 overall is at $93,000 right now. So that $75,000 would have been the best purchase that you can get. And then the 88 89 overalls 24,000 that's another three to four thousand less than what it was so you want to take advantage of this right now buy all these pieces and walk away with an easy 70 to 100 K profit if you could do it two times and make a quick 150 to 200 thousand coins profit baby